Today what we're going to talk about is uh, how to shim your axle and also how to remove the axle. Uh, inside, behind this backing plate, there's these little shims to shim out the bearing to get the proper end play on your axle. And uh, the reason that you do that is so that the bearing doesn't get bound in and prematurely burn out. Um, what we're going to do here first is we're going to put, I'm going to show you how to check your end play. First you'll, you get a dial gauge like this to make uh, various different kinds. Uh, this one here is magnetic, it just sticks on the end. And what you do is get it on the end of the axle. And this dial will move in and out, you set it to zero, and you'll move it in and out, and this will tell you your end play. Now these axles, they want uh, one to six thousandths end play, and this one's well in there, it's got about three thousandths. Uh, the reason why you shim out your bearings is because inside your axle housing, now the one side you do not have to shim, uh, you can put it against the, the backing plate uh, the way it is with no shims, but you'll have to shim the other side. And the reason that you shim this is because this spacer here pushes the axle out and you just have to take up the space with the shims um, to get your proper end play. And okay, what, what, we're, what I'm going to show you is how everything's put together uh, with the backing plate, the retainers, the seals, and the shims. Uh, first I'll take off this bolt here, the last bolt. Okay, now behind here you'll have your grease retainer and this is the grease retainer plate that goes over top to keep your the grease from getting in on your brake shoes. Behind the grease retainer this is your backing plate which comes off. As you can see it's bolted on with six bolts and then behind that is your actual bearing retainer plate. This is what holds the bearing race into place. It's a little bit bigger than the, than the actual race is. And then behind that there, there will be a multiple of shims. Now this can vary from from axle to axle because everything has a different end play. You put th these shims in there to take up that space. As you can see, uh, the bearing race here sticks out a little farther than the, the axle flange, the, 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 end, the end of the flange there. And you take these shims, which will vary from axle to axle, and you stack them on there to compensate the space. If this is the farthest it'll go in without burning up your bearing. 